On the screen, I have uh, three TI graphing calculators, the uh, 83 Plus, the 84 Plus Silver Edition, and the TI 89. And I would say just a few words about the calculators. The 83 and the 84, of course, are your typical graphing calculators. You'll get numerical answers to what you're working, whether it's in algebra or trig. But the TI-89 is a uh, CAS graphing calculator. That is, it has a built-in computer algebra system. So it gives you not only exact answers to uh, solutions of equations or computations, but it also gives you symbolic answers. So you can factor polynomials, you can solve uh, exponential equations, polynomial equations, you can do calculus, find the exact uh, derivative or antiderivative of uh, a problem. But in this video, I'm just going to go over how to uh, adjust the uh, brightness or the contrast of the screen. But I'm going to enlarge the calculator so you can see this a little bit better. So on the 89, I right-click on it, and then on emulation I, uh, options, it's set normal here. I'm going to put it uh, twice the uh, size. Okay. So if I were to save it, I'd, I'd do some kind of computation. I want to save it, and I like that particular size. Then I would come down over here on this screen here, and I would exit and save the state. So when I open it, open the calculator again to do some uh, stuff on it, uh, it'll be the same size. If you don't want to do that, leave it the way the size it was and adjust it as you go. You can exit without saving the state. And you can also adjust the size of this manually. If I put the cursor on the edge of the calculator, I can do this. Change the size manually. The 84 Plus is pretty much fixed the way it is there. That's the way I uh, set it up. On the 83, again, same sort of thing. If I right click, go to uh, Emulation Options. Of course, these are virtual calculators, so you won't be able to, to increase the size on the actual one that you're using unless you have a virtual calculator. But uh, on Emulation options again, it's a normal. I can go to full screen. Now, that, that would be too large, I think, but you can try it large. And again, you can do it manually. Same sort of thing. Go on the side and just increase it this way. And again, if I decide to close it, I can ex exit and save the state so it'll stay the same size. Or if I left something, uh, on the screen, it'll be there when I open it again. Or you can exit without saving the state. And I'll put it right back the way you uh, got it. Okay, so let's look at the uh, 89 here. Make sure it's on. So there's your screen. The brightness is okay, it seems, let's see, it does. But here's your way you, you can adjust it on this one. And again, it's going to vary. The method might, might, will, uh, will vary from uh, model to model, or from uh, brand to brand. To the left of this alpha, we hit this uh, diamond key right here. And if you want to increase the contrast, you hit the plus sign. If you want to decrease it, you hit the minus sign. So let's decrease the contra contrast. So diamond and then minus right here. Increase the brightness, diamond, and then hit the plus sign. And there you go. You can put it to your liking. And again, if you like the brightness the way it is, when you close it, you want to exit and save state so it stays the way it is. And if you like the size of the calculator, the same thing will work there. On the uh, 84 Plus, make sure it's on. Go this one at second. And let's see it go up. It's at one. You can see the number on the right there. It's at one.
second up, second, and then up arrow. The number's increasing there. It's at two right now. Still at three there. There we go to four. Still at four. Do it again. Still at four. There it's at five. Looks pretty good there. Let's go to see what happens at six. So again, you can play around with the uh, with the brightness. Uh, go to the number that you want, and again, if you like that brightness when you ready to close, th this one here doesn't give me that option. Okay, this one was just save whatever I have. So let's see if I close. If I close this one, and then open it. See, this one saves. It keeps everything. I can clear it like this, and if I close it. And open it again, the state of the calculator will be the same. Whereas the others, if you don't uh, do the exit and save, it's not going to save it. It'll just stay whatever it was when you first uh, first opened it. And the 83 is pretty much the same as the 84 as far as adjusting the, uh, the contrast. So I won't do that. I'll go ahead and uh, stop right there. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.